Next into the den tonight are business partners Mike Fisher and inventor Shane Murnahan with a gadget that targets bad backs. I've been a doctor for 25 years and I've flown all over the world and been in the most extraordinary places for one thing. I fix pain. The pair are equally confident about their ability to fix an investment. The fact of the matter is, we've got this. Hello Dragons, my name is Mike Fisher and I'm here with my friend and partner Shane Burnham and uh, we're here to introduce you to our product Gravity. We're looking for £25,000 for 10% of our business. Back pain is a hidden epidemic of misery and complicated solutions. I know this from over 20 years as a therapist fixing the spines. That's put me in a great position to understand and to design this system with gravity. The secret is, if you really want to recover spinal pain, you have to work at both ends of the spine at the same time, simultaneously. And gravity is the best system available to be able to do that. It is a two-piece system. One piece goes on the neck, and the other piece goes on the sacrum, which is the middle of your pelvis. And in between these two positions, it holds the spine still, and it simultaneously allows the body start to unwind. You put these in place and lie down on the ground. And this starts to rock, and this starts to rock with your pelvis, and they talk to each other. It rocks it all the way right down to your pelvis. And then you just get up and walk away. This is the only product you lie down and do nothing and get massive results. So if you're in a time of pain and strain, this can become your best friend. So we've got some samples for you today to have for yourselves and maybe invite somebody to have a lie on the bench and feel, feel I, what it I'll lie on the bench because good. I need it. He needs to lie down. <laughs> on the table from Shane Murnahan and Mike Fisher... That's it. 10% of their company selling their invention to combat back pain. I'll just scoop this into the back of the neck. <laughs> In return for £25,000. I think I've got the neck a bit, but... OK. Oh, new man. <laughs> Taster session over. Tuka Suleiman is keen to find out more about the twosome's credentials. Tell me about yourselves first before we go any further. Shane, where do you come into all this? You're a therapist? Yes, I'm a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. I've been a working therapist for over 25 years, and it brought me to this after I broke my own back in 2008, which created the necessity to design the system. And my background is 30 years in business, sports and sports wholesale. OK. Let's hear about the business. How much have you turned over so far? We've turned over just under £80,000. It's the first sort of five, six months, 20,000, next 12 months, 36,000. And then this last three months, we've done uh, 15, 16,000. So there's, there's, there's been a sort of steady progression in the last three months. And what does it sell for? £99. How much? £99. What, what does it cost you? Uh, it costs us just under £18 to uh, manufacture. And... So it's a good margin, but it's a very, very niche product. It's going to need a lot of intense personal selling. I am your absolute target market. I had a broken pelvis from a riding accident many years ago. I have a weekly massage to try and get myself back aligned. And actually, this isn't going to replace that. This is the thing in between. But I've got a cover full of product that claims to release that tension. I'm not going to buy any more until I'm absolutely told that they work fed up, because not I am answered. fed up yeah. of spending a fortune. Do you know, I, I, I deal with this every day. It's a huge problem to get the confidence of the general public because so much doesn't work. But couldn't I get it wrong? If you line that in the wrong place, couldn't I cause myself more problems? Um, I don't believe you can. If you actually look at the keystone itself, if a person finds it uncomfortable, well, you peel it off the hard plastic piece and you use only the soft silicone piece, which we recommend. Mm -hmm. People with back strain have great sensitivity in the lower back and their neck, and they're very acutely aware of anything in that place. Yeah, but, but that's exactly my point. Sure, I sure. wouldn't know, is this 
good uncomfortable or is this bad uncomfortable? When people say it feels uncomfortable, we say just use one side and if it's, there's any discomfort, just adjust just a little bit because your body is adjusting as soon as you step onto this. You got some IP over this? We have all the yes. IP over yes. this. What yeah. does that mean? You've got IP over what? I designed and completely applied the patents to the curves, the surface, the inventive step um, of this whole design system. It's unique in the fact that it's a two-part spinal system and we've spent the first year really protecting our IP and looking for design protection as well. You have a full patent over, the, over each object. Patent pending in the UK. A York. patent pending. It's pending, but it's, it's imminent. Do you have a patent agreed in any country around the world at the moment? No, we haven't. Not but we've yet. got design registrations agreed around, around the world. Has this been approved by anybody clinically? We are in the process of doing approval trials. That's what I felt you were going to say. Yeah, well, but the, we're, it is very serious and exciting, Peter. Yeah. Um, well, it is, but the worry that I've got is that you've gone out with a product already and you're trying to sell it without actually any level of proof that it works? Well, I suppose the proof of concept that we have is the trials that I've done with it over the last three years in clinic and also the sales we've been getting in the returns. Well, yeah, that, that's not proof because that could have been done just with a normal bed with a neck brace and something up your bottom. Well, that, that's, that, that's a very reasonable statement to make because in, in yoga you have semi-supine position where you just sit that way with a book under your head. Exactly. But it doesn't have the same effect whatsoever. That's my point, though. That's not clinical trials to actually prove that this actually does what it says on the tin. The pressure is building on the duo. As they admit to Peter Jones, they currently don't have the data to support their claims. Which has set alarm bells ringing for health supplements boss, Tej Lalvani. Guys, my company is based around science. Yes. About fact, about research, and about clinical trials. And our products, a lot of our products are clinically proven, double-blind placebo-controlled trials. Yes with major universities to show the effectiveness of the product. And you can't talk about the product's benefits if you haven't got that research. And I'm a very evidence-based man. I need to see why it works and how it works. And that's a problem. And just on those reasons alone, as much as I love back products because I do get back pain now and then, I'm gonna have to decline and say, I'm out. Tej Lalvani is the first dragon to pass on the deal, unwilling to invest in an unproven health device. And that lack of clinical evidence is also making Jenny Campbell feel ill at ease. Do you still feel confident in going to the market with products yeah, that have not got a medical qualification on yeah. for something that affects the back and the spine? I do, yes. Yeah. There must be an element of risk there in terms of somebody saying you, you actually didn't fix it, you made it worse. I've been in this market for 20 years seeing people with serious spine injury and with respect to the trials that are coming on board with the chartered physiotherapy on their clients, these trials will be hundreds, two hundreds people using it and coming oh, back and great. giving their feedback. I just feel that look, that probably needs to happen first. Okay, uh, look, I'll, I'll tell you where I am. I am not going to help you propel a product that's not proven. I think that's uh, walking into a very difficult area that could become quite sticky. I wish you all the best on your journey, but I'm out. Guys, I should want this, but without you being able to tell me that it absolutely works, I couldn't get involved so, I'm out. I think the best thing to do is when you have that back pain is to see a professional and take professional expert advice. With respect, sir, I am a professional and I've been doing it for over 20 years and I have a very solid record of recovering people from serious back pain. But you meet them. Ah, but meeting somebody is not all it takes to get a moving spine to work. It is actually 
down to what the spine does and how it resolves its own characteristics. And if so I don't need you that. then. I don't need you. That's right, you, you don't need you me, don't you need now. the products. That's yeah. the difference. This, yeah. this virtually makes me redundant. The big thing here is that you have become preacher of your own product, and that is, for me, not good. And the reason why it's not good is because you're trying to get investment. You need to be far more credible and come in with something that says, Dragons, this is the research that's been conducted over the last 12 months. These are the results. And then back it up with your claims. And Peter, if that were to be so in 12 months' time, if we were working together and that exploded it, wouldn't that put credibility on our enthusiasm and our sincerity now going really into these would, trials? It really would, it would make it believable. It would. But it's impossible to invest in something like this without the clinical trial. So I'm going to say, good luck with it. I'm out. Thank you very much, Dragons. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Well, they fought to the bitter end, but not for the first time in the den. The entrepreneurs' lack of ability to officially back up their claims cost them any hope of a Dragon partnership. I think grilling could have been worse. <laughs> I don't think so. The world's changing, and people object to studies as much as people approve of them. I gave up trusting reports a long time ago. I believe in results.